kids, welcome back to Screwball Science. I am Dr. Criss Cross, and I'm so excited. To... She's here. Hey everybody, this is my dear old scientist friend, Dr. Thunderstorm. She came clear across the country just to be with us today. Hello everyone. It's so fun to see you all and to be part of this Science with Jesus experiments. And today it's all about getting wet. No, Dr. Thunderstorm, it's about not getting wet. That's what you think. We'll see. Well, doctor, can you tell me what we have in front of us today? Well, I see a board and some cushion and some rope. Awesome. And we have a couple cups of water here too. Hmm. Do you think you could pick up our rope and start our experiment for today? <laughs> I'm a genius, of course I can. Safety first. All right, so now I'm gonna put some water, three water cups on the board. Now I'm gonna move out of the way. And Dr. Thunderstorm, you can stand up and move back and give yourself a little space. I got this. Now, doctor, I want you to start swinging the platform back and forth, gently. Okay, if you say so. Rock a by wood board and water cup. <laughs> nice, nice. Keep swinging it now. And when you're ready, I want you to swing the platform upside down. <gasps> Are you crazy? I'm gonna get all wet. What makes you think that? Oh, I don't know. Gravity? Trust me, Dr. Thunderstorm, there are forces at work here more powerful than gravity at the moment. Okay, here I go. Dr. Thunderstorm. That was called centripetal force when she swung the board upside down. Kids, the water didn't fall on her. That was pretty incredible. That was amazing. Do you know what also is amazing? Jesus. Jesus, the Son of God, is amazing. He has the power over everything. Have you ever heard the story of when Jesus calmed the storm? Yes, I remember that story. Jesus was on a boat with his disciples and it started raining and thunderstorming and push, push, push. And the disciples were afraid of drowning. Well, Dr. Thunderstorm, just like you didn't have to fear about getting wet, the disciples didn't have to fear about getting drowned, didn't have to fear about drowning. Jesus was with them. Jesus had power to still the storm. Now that's what I call real power. I don't know about you, Doc, but it makes me so happy to know that the same powerful God is looking out for me too. When I have storms in my life, I know that I can pray to Jesus and I can give it to him. Amen to that. Storms will come and storms will go, but we can always count on Jesus. Now, we are so happy that you joined us today for our experiment, but more importantly, we are so happy to be able to share that Jesus is more powerful than anything, more powerful than any storm that could come. That's right. Jesus is more powerful than any 
hailstorm, any tsunami, any thunderstorm, any hurricane, any snowstorm, all right, all right, any all right. rainstorm. Dr. Thunderstorm, I, I think they got it. Okay, okay. Well, Dr. Thunderstorm, we're so grateful that you came and joined us today to help us with our experiment. God's blessings and safe travels back. Thank you, thank you, my friends. It was great to be here with you. Adios, amigos. Adios. After a long day of teaching, Jesus and his disciples were getting ready to head back home. They got into their boat to sail across the lake. But as soon as they pushed off from shore, a whispering wind grew into a blustering storm. Without warning, huge waves swelled up like moving mountains, pushing the boat up and down. The disciples were terrified and thought the boat was about to sink. The disciples' fear grew more intense as they realized that the storm was getting bigger. They grabbed onto anything that provided stability. As all of this was taking place, Jesus was sound asleep inside the boat. The disciples forgot that they were in the company of Jesus, who had power of all the elements, even deadly storms. One of the disciples decided to check on Jesus and found him asleep. Even with the raging storm wreaking havoc to the boat, Jesus was calm. They needed his help. Teacher, his disciples shouted in his ear, don't you care that we're all dying? Jesus calmly stood up and looked at the furious storm. He was not scared. He was not shaken. He didn't even look surprised. Peace, be still he shouted into the raging, blinding blackness of the storm. Then, suddenly, the growling and snapping of the storm stopped. With scarcely another drip, the rain was gone. The clouds scurried away. The sea settled into a peaceful pane of glass, and the fear of dying was gone. Jesus saved them. With shock, they looked around at the absolute calmness of everything. Jesus had simply spoken, and the storm was gone. The terrifying fear of the storm was replaced by a reassuring fear of Jesus. Who is this that even the wind and sea obey him? They asked in wonder. Yet again, Jesus proved to them that he was the Son of God, and their faith grew stronger. Hello, DS Kids. It's Miss Liza. I'm so happy to be back with you. Our Bible passage for this series is John chapter 20, verse 29. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Repeat after me. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. John chapter 20 verse 29. Kids, let's fold our hands and let's bow our heads and let's thank Jesus for his amazing power. Jesus, you stop the wind and the waves with your almighty power. We know that you can help us too, each and every hour. Amen. Can I hear an amen? That was amazing. Thank you for tuning in. You can visit DivineSaviorChurch.com and go to DS Kids at Home and you'll find our experiment there. And kids, if you want to try this at home, you can grab a bucket, put some water in it, and swing it gently. And when you feel comfortable, you can swing it around and try the experiment at home. Thank you so much. Tune in next week to see what scientist is going to show up next. Bye!